Now, let's talk about Maimonides' wrong understanding of the universe. Um, so, Maimonides, he was making these arguments, logical arguments, about different kinds of, of um, issues, including creation and existence of God and eternity and all these things. And, um, and often he had to... To, to tell us about the universe. And then he, he, there, there are chapters like one or two where he tries to explain to us how the universe, the universe functions. And um, now, now you will understand he was in a different era and they, were, they had their own knowledge that they, was, they were working with. And uh, maybe 900 or so 800 years after he died, uh, more knowledge has been accumulated, especially regarding the nature and how the universe functions. Now, one thing that he keeps he keeps um, mentioning in the book, and he's so wrong about, is the Earth being at the center of the universe. He, 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 every argument he makes, he makes it with that assumption that the Earth is at the center of the universe, and then the moon moves around the earth and he, he says the moon is the closest of the objects of heaven that goes around the earth, which that's true. And then he says the sun is the next um, going around, um, around the earth. And then we have the stars uh, next after the, the sun. And then we have and then he says there is another level above the stars. So he counts, I think he says like there are six or seven or eight. And he says there are some scholars who, uh, of his time or uh, who lived earlier, who had said that there are up to nine or ten layers of these um, things moving around um, the earth. Um, but of course, we now know that that, that is not true. Uh, in fact, this, the earth moves around um, the sun. And okay, for the layers, we're saying there is the, that layer of, of the moon, and then of the sun, and then of the stars, and then there are others above that. Um, but now we know the moon, of course, moves around, rotates around the earth, but we know that the earth itself goes around the sun. And then now we know that the stars we see up there, most of them are just like the sun, and they have their own um, solar systems with their own planets, and it's a very complex kind of uh, ecosystem outside there. So he was wrong on that. Uh, he was very wrong on that, and um, yeah, yeah, so, but of course, we understand where he was coming from. He, the knowledge he, he had to work with uh, at that time, everybody, every respectable um, a scholar of, of the universe believed that the earth was the center of the universe and everything else was moving around um, around um, <clears throat> around the earth but there's there's something that he writes that makes me think he 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 was close to seeing that there was something wrong with how they were seeing the universe but maybe it would have taken a, a very slight way of thinking and seeing things and they would have realized that maybe that's not what it is let, let me read this paragraph when we therefore perceive that all fixed stars move in the same way uniformly and align uniformly without the least difference, we conclude that they are all in one sphere. It is, however, not impossible that the stars should have each its own sphere with a separate center and yet move in the same way. So I think there was this thing they are observing the stars moving. And these stars seem to be like, while each is moving, supposed to be moving on its own, they are moving like a cluster and they are moving in the same pattern. And that maybe should have told them, maybe it's not the stars that are moving. Maybe it's the earth that is moving, but the stars are just fixed on specific parts. That's why they seem like they are moving in a formation that does not break or something like that. 